hello guys welcome to another video and in this one i want to show you how you can actually change the themes for users based on a user what i mean is what one user might like is not what another user might like when it comes to a theme so how do we do this go ahead go back go to themes and go to users create a table a field called theme all right so i've already done that create a table called theme now go to account edit and go to theme i had already done this so i have two themes i have a uh, bootstrap theme poipool and sketchy now if you don't have those themes how you gain them is you go here go and select any theme you like let's look for a theme that is standing out Right, this is okay. I like that. So uh, save that and you're going to preview the load your project. So we have that theme. Now whenever you go to your uh, RAD project, go to assets and go to CSS, you are going to see that theme. So here's a theme. You can copy it. Control C. Then go back to PHP right here and we want to paste it here. You can do a dot CSS. Change this to small. Doesn't really matter anyway. Then we can reload this. So what we want to do is change this based on a user. Now you're going to go all the way to app, go to views, go to layout, go to main layout.php. So this is what we're going to do our app. Right? So I had already done this, but I don't want to use this for now. Just delete that. So uh, in case a user doesn't have a theme, we want that user to be using this theme. Right? So we're going to leave this as default but in case a new user enters application and changes the theme we want that user to use this theme you're going to write here all right so go ahead and let's start our php code just a simple customization then we're going to say theme is equals to we're going to say to use our global function and say get active user let's say theme okay close that then you're going to close php there then you're going to open a link okay then you're going to say hlef is equals to now remember we have a predefined variable called site address okay so you're going to say php echo site address okay then we are going to do a slash Hmm. All right, so do a slad to a site address. So what a site address does is it gets you a link of the website. So it doesn't matter where your website is, it's online or lovely. It's going to get that link all the way to here. So the rest you're going to have to assign them so you're going to do assets css so we're going to do from here to there okay so go ahead and go back to your code editor and paste this there slash now here we are going to do this 
php php echo theme so we are doing theme because theme is getting these from a user session so whatever that user selects this is what that user is going to get okay then you're going to close this and close our link layer then you're going to close php make sure you put that space there and there so this php is just closing this php we opened here so this is pretty much important and it has to be there okay now let's go ahead and save that and let's preview this now what will happen if we change the theme for this user Okay, so something is not right. What is not right? Alright, so that's a problem. Let's try and look at it from this end. So this is a problem right here. That's why I prefer using uh some prime tech so this is a problem right here we never put the speech marks there go back to my account under edit we have that and I think I just might have figured out where the problem is. Here it is. So perfect. We have that working fine. Now let's confirm that this is working for the other users. Let's log out and log in as a different user. As you can see, this is pretty much different is the login page because the user has not yet logged in. So go ahead and log in as a user. Now let's try and change this. So uh, this is so because I had actually edited this before we started building this. Let's update us to Poipool. Okay, now let's go ahead and log out and log in as a different user just to confirm. There we go. It's working perfectly for every user. Everything is working just fine for all the users. Now let's just confirm that it's working everywhere. So great. Now there you go guys. So that's how you build a simple theme changer for your application in PHP. Go ahead and save your project. Don't forget to do that. 
and I'll see you in the next one guys also uh, if you wish to learn more on PHP right there is a course that is available at the link I'm going to post in the description below so in case you feel like you need to learn more about PHP right maybe you're just new to PHP right feel free to check out the link to the course in the description also again if you haven't subscribed and you like what you're seeing just subscribe and you get notified whenever you post a new video so goodbye guys